You've probably been watching all these AI video tools pop up, Sora, Runway, Pika, and you're thinking, which one is actually worth my time? Maybe you've even tried a few, got some decent results, but nothing that felt like this is it. Well, I've spent weeks diving deep into Google's latest AI video model, testing every feature, pushing every limit, and here's what surprised me. VO4 isn't just another upgrade. It might actually be the first AI video tool that's genuinely production ready. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what makes VO4 different. The 4K output, the native audio generation, the character consistency that actually works, and show you how it could transform the way you create content. Whether you're a filmmaker, a marketer, or just someone who wants to turn ideas into videos without a production budget. Let's start with what VO actually is and why Google's been quietly building something most people haven't been paying attention to. What is Google VEO for? Here's the quick backstory. Google's VEO is a family of AI models from DeepMind that generate videos from text prompts and sometimes image prompts too. VEO1 launched mid-2024 VO2 came that winter with better realism and 4K testing, and then VO3 in 2025 added something nobody else had, native audio generation. That means synchronized dialogue, sound effects, ambient noise, all generated alongside the video. No post-production audio work. That was huge. But here's where it gets interesting. VO4 takes everything that worked in VO3 and addresses the things that didn't. Let me walk you through the key upgrades. The key features that matter true, 4K output. Right now, VO 3.1 caps at 1080p. VO 4 is expected to deliver actual 4K cinematic quality, which means AI videos that are finally client ready, not just concept demos. Longer, coherent clips. Anyone who's used current AI video tools knows the frustration. After about 8-10 seconds, characters start morphing, Props vanish. The whole thing falls apart. VO4 is targeting 15-30 seconds of continuous footage with actual story coherence. That's a game changer for narrative content. Real character consistency. This is the one I'm most excited about. If you have a main character in your video, they should look the same from start to finish. No more disappearing earrings mid-scene. VO4 is leveraging Google's image model strengths to keep characters on model throughout. Wait until you hear about the audio upgrades, though. That's where things get really wild. Enhanced audio and speech. VO3's voices worked, but let's be honest, they were still a bit robotic. VO4 is bringing more expressive performances, better timing, richer background ambience. If Google delivers here, this could be the first all-in-one generator that does both great video and great audio simultaneously. OpenAI's Sora hasn't clearly demonstrated that yet. Cinematic controls. You'll be able to specify things like use a 35mm lens, track from left to right, then slow motion in the final two seconds. Your text prompt essentially becomes a director's shot list. And here's a feature that nobody else has even attempted. Multi-angle generation. Imagine writing one scene description and getting a wide shot, a side angle, and a close-up all at once, like you had multiple cameras on set. If VO4 pulls this off, editors could cut between AI-generated angles like real footage. How VO4 changes everything. Okay, so the tech sounds impressive. But what does this actually mean for people who create things? Let me break this down by who you are. For filmmakers, imagine having a script idea but no budget for sets, actors, or VFX. With VO4, you could visualize that entire script as a high-quality animatic in minutes. Directors could type exterior spaceship hangar at sunset and get a moving storyboard without hiring concept artists. But here's what's really interesting. Because of those continuity upgrades, you could generate an entire short film sequence with consistent characters across multiple shots. Think fan films conceptual scenes, 
alternate endings. The speed means more experimentation and storytelling. For educators, this one doesn't get talked about enough. Imagine you're teaching photosynthesis and you prompt animation of a plant leaf under sunlight, zooming into cells producing oxygen. You get a video with generated narration explaining the process in any language you need. A history teacher could generate a reenactment of an ancient Roman market. A medical trainer could create simulated patient scenarios. Abstract concepts become visual in minutes. For marketers. Here's where the numbers get crazy. Traditional ad shoots, weeks of work, tens of thousands of dollars. Early adopters of AI video have reported dropping from $25,000 over eight weeks to about $1,500 in under a day. That's an 80-90% cost reduction. You could generate one base ad and then quickly prompt variations. Now make a version with a family setting. Add a voiceover for our holiday sale. Convert this 30-second video into a snappier 10-second TikTok. Instead of reshooting, you're just tweaking prompts. For content creators, this is where it democratizes everything. YouTube has already integrated earlier VO models into shorts creation. Hit a button, type a prompt, get an AI video clip in seconds. When VO4 arrives with higher quality and longer clips, a TikTok creator could generate an entire skit with virtual actors. Have an amazing story idea, but no camera or editing skills? VO4 is the equalizer. You don't need gear to make something that looks high effort. Your imagination becomes the only limit. VEO4 vs the competition. Now you might be wondering, how does this stack up against everything else? Let me give you the honest breakdown. OpenAI's Sora is great for short form, TikTok style clips with creative styles, but it's been criticized for lacking fine control. Fun to experiment with, but limited in professional value. VO4's longer coherent videos and integrated audio give it the edge for serious work. Runway has the accessibility advantage. Anyone can hop on their web app and try text to video, but their outputs generally trail VO in realism and resolution, maxing out at around 720p for a few seconds with no audio generation. Pika is fantastic for stylized, artsy outputs and quick visual experiments, but for polished cinematic sequences, VO is playing in a different league. The bottom line, if you want absolute cutting-edge video fidelity with integrated audio, VO is the pick. The competition is driving rapid improvements everywhere, which means we all win. When and how to access VO4. So when can you actually use this? There's no official date yet, but looking at Google's pattern, they've been updating VO every 5-7 months. Many observers predict late 2025 or early 2026. Some rumors suggest it's already in internal testing. As for access, expect multiple entry points. Google's Vertex AI platform for developers, YouTube integration for creators, and third-party platforms like Artlist and potentially Veed. Google also has a subscription tier at $249 a month for professionals who want full capabilities. The free integration through YouTube Shorts is probably the easiest way most people will first experience it even if it starts at lower resolution like the current 480p VO fast model. Here's the thing. Tools like VO4 are just that, tools. They can create astonishing outputs, but it's your creativity that makes those outputs meaningful. We're moving into an era where imagination is the new limitation. So start thinking about what you'll create when this becomes available. A viral short film? Personalized learning content? a business that churns out custom ads using AI? If this breakdown was helpful, drop a like and subscribe. I'll be doing a hands-on the moment VO4 drops. And I want to know, what would you create with an AI like this? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, keep creating. The future of content is unfolding right now.